when we came into the ghetto, there was no food altogether. In my opinion, it was the worst time of my life. You can't imagine, which is very hard for anybody, a person to imagine the, the, the hardship, the hunger, and the, and the knowing that you're not gonna survive. And that's why lots of people commit a suicide. They liquidated the Weisse Adler, the and they took us into, they took us into Auschwitz. And uh, it doesn't matter what you were doing and how good you worked, how hard you worked. It's, they had just had one goal, and one goal only. They liquidate all the Jews of Europe. And they almost succeed. It doesn't matter what somebody gonna say. But one thing I remember, seeing children, small children walking out of the train from the station, holding, holding toys, their toys, or somebody giving them toys, whatever toys. The bigger ones holding by the hand, the little ones, and singing, walking right, right into the guest chamber. You know what, you know what this does to you? When I close my eyes for this, I can never sleep. I was smuggling dynamite to the camp. It was supposed to blow up all the four crematoriums because it was four modern crematoriums. Something somewhere got wrong. You know, an uprising to make, <laughs> put together, it's not so easy. At least it was some revenge against the, the Nazi oppression. But there's something in me. Could be a guilt. Maybe I have a kind of a guilt that I survived, and so many didn't. It's important for me, myself, it's important that, that people should know about it. There was a really there's enough hurt for one person of a lifetime, or maybe of 100 persons. It's enough how much hurt I got it. They cannot hurt me anymore.